Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I got a reaction today by I Am Davis, and the name of the video is Dr. Umar Meets My White Girlfriend. This ought to be interesting, so let's get into it. Dr. Umar is one of the most controversial figures in internet history. When you marry a white woman, you are investing in white supremacy. Correct. I ain't gonna lie, starting off the gate, my guy. That ain't what. But I would say, listen, your wife is white. <laughs> Come on, dog. The first 10 seconds. Get just the first 10 seconds already. And I'm not a blasphemy. He said, you supporting white supremacy if you marry a white woman. Oh, my God. So we're going to stop the black talk right there. Love you, but you are no use to me with that white woman on your arm, brother. He prides himself on being a pan-African and believing that black people should only date black people. Today, I'm going to prank Dr. Umar into meeting... I'm going to be honest, man. Yeah, I, I, I like black love just as much as anybody else. I feel like love don't have a color. If you fall in love with somebody, it, it don't matter who it is. Love is love my fake white girlfriend but first let me tell you the story about how we got here oh that's so fake i thought that was your real girlfriend dave dang i'm like that's you yeah, but okay i was in the middle of shooting my apple vision pro video when i got a call yo you know uh dr Umar's in town right really yeah here i am waiting patiently in line for dr umar I'll be honest, this guy knows how to draw a crowd. I waited in line for well over an hour, and um, the moment finally came. Hold on, that's it. Okay, David got on the ALV. Okay. Hold up, Kayla. How you doing? You know who you remind me of a little bit? The way you dress? Who? M'Baku from the uh, Wakanda. Wakanda. Oh, the same haircut. Thank you. He got the same haircut. The audio was absolutely abysmal, but basically I asked him for an interview, and he told me that he couldn't do it because he had another one to do that day. So shoot me a text. Okay. You're supposed to come back Friday or Saturday. Gotcha. You feel me? Yeah, I got you. Text me so I don't forget. Thank you. I'll be honest. I didn't expect to actually hear back from him. <laughs> hey, Davey, you plugged in. But after a month of going back and forth, he finally told me he was back in Atlanta and ready to do the interview. But now the only problem is I don't actually have a white girlfriend. Okay. All right, y'all. So now I'm here with, uh, what's your name again? Tori. I'm here with Tori, and now we have to go fake look like we're a couple, like a, a happy couple. Okay, Tori, she ain't bad looking. She actually pretty nice. You ain't thinking about wife no, but I don't know. You don't know her, so I don't know if you know her or not, but she, she ain't bad looking. Which, um, I'm not that excited about because, like, I'm in a, a real relationship, but, um, it's a, I gotta make this YouTube video, oh, so yeah. Man, Davis is in a relationship. Oh, my fault, then. Anyways, let's do it. Tori's gonna be helping me prank Dr. Umar into thinking I have a white girlfriend. We're gonna be taking some pictures so it looks like we've known each other for a long time. And then we're gonna plan an argument in front of him. We had to look it up on Pinterest to find some inspiration. So we're gonna do that. Y'all know that couple post where you're like walking, like, and you're, you're leading behind me? I'm like, okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Now we're going over what role she should play. The plan is to tell Dr. Umar that I'm having relationship problems because my girlfriend wants an open relationship, but little does he know, when she gets out here, she's gonna be Caucasian, and I'm gonna have her say this to him. What do you want her to say in this situation? You say <laughs> I think Dr. Umar should join us one time. Boy, that nigga gonna snap. <laughs> that nigga gonna snap, boy. You know the crazy part about, what are the funny part he be down with? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now this thing is gonna get up and leave with only a few minutes left until dr umar arrives we got a full plan and we're ready to execute dr umar in yes, the flesh sir. man honest mind brother when the pleasure is to meet likewise, you likewise likewise man brother umar with the dot shitty 
Got the blue and all. Okay, brother Umar. How's life been for you? Life been great. I can't complain. Always ready for revolution. Amen. I, I, I can never go a day without seeing you on the internet. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean, that means you're doing something right. I want to go yeah, ahead and show you around my, my humble house real quick. Um, you uh, this is nice here. Uh, thank you so much. You got, you got the city of Atlanta wow. behind us. Wow. You play basketball at all? AMP. That's AMP. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't good though. They made me play because I was tall. Hey, we gotta. Hey, we need to see at least one. Jump. <laughs> one, one jump. Well, that's an inspiration. They got the three-story house, man. I'm, that's an inspiration for myself and many others to have nice. Yeah, just one just jump. Come on now. Oh, we gotta get at least one from you. Yeah. All right, know what color it is? I don't know. Water. I'm going to the foul line. I heard you. Okay, go scoot it in. They got me on camera. They're gonna talk about. No, no, no. Ah. Ah. Give him a break. The ball's flat. Oh! I thought I hit it. I thought it's I hit the girl's ball, but you right? You suck. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Stop. Water. Oh! Nice! Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what we're doing! <laughs> yes! Hey, now you hooping though. All right. Let's go ahead and and go through the crib real quick. Man, oh man, what a blessing, what a moment. My brother, Dr. Umar, Glad to be with how you Glad doing, to be man? With you. How's everything? Man, everything's right. going great. I, yes, I, I can't complain, man. Like I said, I can't go a day without seeing your content on the internet. So that means you're doing something good. Like, honestly, like I'm uh, I'm trying to get like that, honestly. So I guess, you know, just for the for the average viewer, can you tell people a little bit more about who you are? Uh, Sure, uh, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. I'm a certified school psychologist. I'm a doctor, yep. clinical psychology. I'm a therapist. I am a parent advocate. Uh -huh. I am a pan Africanist, which Amen. is probably the most. What is a pan African? Well, he just said at the beginning, a pan African. So that means he just strictly African everything, right? Most important hat that I wear. I'm mm -hmm. um, author of two books, Psychoacademic black parent advocate where can we find it amazon dr umar johnson.com okay so he got, he got his own website okay my fault private uh publisher independent and i'm currently uh working on finishing up an independent school uh okay. frederick Douglass and marcus garvey academy based in wilmington delaware we got a paint day coming up in about two weeks mm -hmm. and then uh we should almost be ready to pass to apply for our inspection hopefully we pass the inspection and we'll have a grand opening celebration for the community sometime the end of the summer that's a beautiful thing i open up a school i always yeah like I said, I ain't gonna lie, Dr. Umar, he, he be saying some things that I can agree with. You know, some stuff he be saying, like, okay, he sound pretty cool, you know. I can agree with him, but sometimes he be saying some stuff just like at the beginning of the video, man. It just sounds so ridiculous at times, but... Give any respect to someone opening up a school because you're prioritizing the kids. Yes, sir. And we're doing it independently. That's so that's even harder. It's not, not public. public. Okay, All wow. No, I like the stuff you do because it's about black excellence. And Absolutely. my group, like I said, not only are we the number one content group in America, I mean, the number one black group, but the number one content group in general. Black, white, Hispanic. So we really are about black excellence. And that was one of the goals when we started this group. It's called AMP. Are we about, you know, maybe five or six million subscribers? That was one of the goals is, you know, showing people, hey, you don't got to be outside with the stick. You don't got to be outside with the Thule. You don't got to be outside with, with, with the Draco, with the nine, with the four. With the 50, with the 60, with the 70. All right, all right David, we get it. <laughs> yeah, we get it. <laughs> David gonna troll like a motherfucker. You can pick up a camera and vlog. Yeah, you can get in the camera, you can get sturdy. You know, you can, you can do 20 V1s and, Absolutely. and and tell women, hey, hit a 360 for me real quick. And like, see if she's thick or not. Like, there's a lot of things you can do. But we don't want to do that. <laughs> Why not? Because we don't. <laughs> oh, turn around, do a 360. <laughs> want to sexually exploit our women. One of the biggest problems that we have, your generation in particular, those younger than you, there's too much focus on the sexual objectification and the exploitation of black women. Okay, so that's fair, but what if she's actually like, no, I'm, not, I'm being serious now, what if she's actually just so thick? That's okay, I love my women five, five, thick in the thighs. Mm -hmm. Come on now, wrong with you, come on now. <laughs> David, think about some man. <laughs> put that, it's a dog in my face. Let's see, you gonna change it, man, by the way. Put a put the thickest white girl you can in front of. <laughs> put them in a the room together and see if he's gonna turn her down. We gonna see if he really <laughs> about it. We gonna see. <laughs> to a curvy queen, that's all I like. But mm -hmm. we have to be careful that we don't go so far in our attraction, mm -hmm. right? That lust is now being used as a way to lynch our sisters and create an atmosphere where they have been permanently objectified for their sexual attractiveness. Well, we gotta get into some of the, the hard-hitting questions now. Uh, do, you, do you know what a, a gyat is? I do not. Okay. I'm gonna show you some examples. So, um, I'm gonna just think of a good example. I mean, like. Tell so, me what it is, why you. It's a, yeah, it's like a woman with a big butt. So, like, if you see that. I'm looking at a white woman. 
Brother, brother, come on. Booty is booty now. Come on. Crazy. Come on, brother. I'm not looking at a white woman. So I, okay. no, sir. Come on, bro. No. So you can't sir. you can't see that and be you better like, pull up some mixed race sisters. Okay. But you ain't giving me no snow bunny, no sir. Hey, she mixed with something. Oh no. Oh, you don't. Like I said, you put a big let put him in the Dr. Umar in the room by so with a thickest white girl you can find, with the best banging body you can find. Put her right in front of him. And she down the fuck. And and she really down the fuck him. Do you think he gonna turn that down? I, I don't know. But it'd be crazy if he go for it though. I think no. so. She's uh-huh. like, so you can't. You can't. I saw you sneak a peek. I saw you sneak a peek. Hey, now nah, he's sneaking peek. I saw you. He said, he said, he said, no disrespect to the Caucasian female. Okay, there's a lot of brothers who want them, uh, like yourself. Yeah, but I'm not one of them. My biggest thing, and I've seen you talk about relationships time and time again. Um, like I said, I'm a Christian, I'm a uh, I'm monogamous. Um, and your my, partner, yes, what is her race? Come on, you know, what is she? You know, I love my queens, brother. Come on now, ah, uh, yo, no. Got a snow bunny out there. Is she black? Brother, come on. Is she black? Come on, brother. You know, you know how I feel. Say she's black. Brother, come on. Why you like, <laughs> say he, it. He, we, we in an all say black, it. we in a black content house. Nothing. We in a, the, the number That's one black. You just push snow bunnyism like I'm No, I didn't. Seen. No, I didn't. But I'm gonna explain. Is she a black woman? Brother, come on. What like I'm not trying to just hand it. Mobile games are going big. Play the yes. Okay. Boy, she does she the whitest looking black girl I ever seen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah, she I'm, got I'm she she time. definitely yeah, she de- okay. Um so the the problem I'm having with my current relationship is because she is very out there. You know, this generation is very they like to go twerk in the club, they like to go be ratchet and stuff like that. So it's like my my girlfriend, I'm trying to sit here and build a long living Christian life. I'm a provider. You see this house, and I'm, I'm, God is blessing me. God is blessing me. And it's like she is out the club, at the club shaking ass on her friends. Like she, you know, have you seen the, the Ice Spice pose? I've heard that Ice Spice. What is that? Ice Spice. Okay, I get. I, Nigga, man, come on, Dr. Umar. You don't know who Ice Spice is. You saying you an advocate for blacks? I say you ought to know about hip hop. Ice Spice. I, let me, I get shot. Wait, you said pose? Yeah, it's a pose. What is it? I'm going to show you. I need to see it. It's x ex- Hold on. Ice Spice not white, though. She ain't white. I don't know. She might got some white in her. She may be mixed a little bit, but. What is it? I mean, uh, can you turn it to him? No, I'm not doing You're not going to do it? Okay, all right, all right, okay. Okay, so the ice. That type of part. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the Ice Spice pose, basically, she's bending over. Hey, my girl is. I take care of her, I get her Prada bag, I get her Chanel, and she's in the club. And the thing that pissed me off the most, and the reason why I'm like, okay, I, you know. How long have y'all been together? Nine months. Y'all been together nine months? Yeah. Have you expressed your disagreement with her public behavior? A thousand percent. Has and it changed at all? S- slightly, but it, it's it's taken a step back. She's, she's not in the club weekly. But the thing that's throwing me off right now is two weeks ago, she with my friend, and like, they, my friends can't hang out. My girlfriend and my friend can't hang out. And he wasn't with this, but she started doing the Ice Spice pose on him. Let me ask you a question. Okay. How can you? Uh-huh. Or why haven't you? Mm-hmm. He said, break up with him. He like, break up with him. Being the proud Christian brother that you are. Yeah. Why haven't you given her an ultimatum? Because I'm trying to save her. And I, I like like I said, she's, she's a big fan are of Are you trying to save her or are you addicted to that booty yourself? Oh, oh that's a good question. <laughs> you trying to save her or you addicted to the eyes? <laughs> Oh, brother, Dr. Umar, come on now. Come on, let's keep it. Stay with what I'm saying. Uh, okay. If you are as committed to your faith as you claim, yeah. how is it that you spent almost a year with a woman who doesn't sound like she's the least bit interested no, no, in she, Jesus Christ? No, no, she's very interested in Christ and everything. Everyone has their bad habits. And she, she that's was just not outside. a habit, like, brother. That's outside. a lifestyle. Like, I'm not going to let before, like, yeah. I'm going to say going to the club is a lifestyle. That ain't no habit. A bad habit is like, Smoking cigarettes or something, or drinking too much, or doing something that annoy people. Not <laughs> before the, we start dating, she was like definitely racking it up. She was going crazy in college. I see. But why are you attracted to that type of woman? I want to deal with you more than her because we can't. She's a big fan of you, by the way, and she. Yeah. I appreciate my sister, uh-huh. and I'm gonna give her forty lashes for doing the ice spice. But listen, okay. Whoa. What do you mean the la- lashes? Is that whoosh, whoosh. whipping post? Okay. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Metaphorically, not yeah, literally. Yeah, I know. I know. We know. Well, because like my girl, she has a percentage of black hair. Like I like, you know. Um, wait, wait, stop. <laughs> Ninja, please. <laughs> you just said my 
why, why, why women got a percentage of black? 100%. What would you say? Wait, wait, you wait, 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 so you got one black parent. So what is she? Ninety nine percent white and one percent black. Does that still count? <laughs> one black parent and you psychologically psychologically identify as African. Mm -hmm. You one of us. She definitely she a hundred percent psychologically. But you said she has some black. I don't know what the percentage is. Uh, well, we need to know okay. what the percentage is. As a matter of fact, uh, she because if she, she got one like percent yeah. black, somebody need to go to ancestry or something like that or. Oh, don't wear sight me when they find your answer, your history, <laughs> your family tree. She ain't black. Baby, baby, can you uh, come in here? She's, she's in the building today. Okay. Uh, I'm going to introduce her. What is her ethnicity? What's the other ethnicity? It's, what is the... The mother is what and the father is what? I, okay. I'm going to be honest. If, if the mother is black and the father is white, I think it would be like half and half. But I noticed when a daddy is black, and a woman in white or another race or something, they'd be mostly black, majority black. The black genes, I think, yeah, the black genes, whatever the other side is, you would have more of that side, depending on how much, it, it, it goes off the parent, like how much percentage the parent is black, at least one of them. Okay, the reason I'm having a hard time is because I don't want to like Is a commercial. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, I paused right on the ass, but. Nice to see you. Hi. Nice Good afternoon, you. likewise. Uh, no hugs, please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, he rejected the hug. Is everything in the shop? You can come to right here. We're having a conversation. Come on, sit here. Okay. Yeah, so, um, come on, we got to cozy now, brother. Come on. No, go ahead. So, I was talking, well, my issue with you is that you be in the club. You talked about, I don't even know what the term is, swapping or switching partners one time. Like, I just feel like you should be more loyal to me. But I just feel like... I'm more happy whenever I'm out there. So, but you said several times that I make you happy. Yeah, you do make me happy. But I would be happier if we had an open relationship. That's that's my problem with Omar. I have a question, uh, young lady. Your name? Tori. Pleased to meet you, Tori. What is your ethnicity? I nigga don't like it. He scooted all the way over and everything. Tori. I'm white. Okay. She and had a what are the black hair? Hold on. Oh. Yeah. What are the, uh, if you don't mind me asking, your father's ethnicity and your mother's ethnicity? My mom, I mean, my dad is, I think, European. Italian, I, Greek, I don't know. I think Polish. Irish. Okay, maybe Polish, your father, and your mother is. I don't know. Okay, but, yeah. but definitely Caucasian. Mm -hmm. But this is your okay. thing, Omar. Look, look, at, look, at my, look at my. He said you had a percentage look, look of black background. in you. Look at my background. I got this woman on my background. I'm Are you, have you ever done any DNA testing to ascertain if you had any African blood? Mm, no, but okay. my mom has. I just don't know what the results were. Okay. But there was average. Mm, okay. Black in but her. your mother, if I saw her. So her mother got some black in her. How much black? Since the father European. Would clearly appear to me as a Caucasian female. Let's get, let's all because the you. shot's wide. Can we can all get closer? Come, can you scoot over? No, you're, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine, Tori. Okay. Yeah. I would disagree with him being with you. Whoa, whoa, Not whoa. because I have an issue with you as a human being, I want you to understand, but because I have an issue with him as a black man who I... I knew you were finna say that it's an issue because she's white, right? <laughs> I feel should have chosen a sister out of loyalty to the community. But she's like a sister. So it's not a dismissal of you, you understand me? Mm -hmm. It's a loyalty to us that I think a lot of black men take him. He's a successful young brother, doing very well for himself, and instead of getting a sister, 
he gets a Caucasian woman. And that represents a significant contradiction for me as a Pan-Africanist and someone who is trying to build my people. The most important thing to me is I want to get your advice because I think that you have a, a genuine understanding of relationship. A crazy thing like that. It's not you as a human being. So because she white, right? <laughs> I know that's the reason. Come on. I need her to stop swinging. She, she's trying to she's trying to get us to start swinging. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the term. Swinging. He can. Y'all being intimate with other people. That's what she's doing. I'm not doing okay. that. I'm not doing that. I'm completely against anything non-traditional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't even give you the advice because I cannot approve of the relationship itself. Brother, you can 100% Peacock is the exclusive streaming home of Oppenheimer, winner of seven Academy Awards, including Take me advice. Although I can respect this okay. young lady. Why did you think it was okay to twerk on my friend? I felt like he wanted me to. What in the fuck? What? Don't curse at me. I'm not I'm not using profanity. I'm not using profanity with you. I'm simply saying, if you think my close friend, who I play basketball with, who I go to gym with every day, if you think putting my my partner, who I'm trying to uplift as my queen, if you think putting your rubbing your butt against him in the club is respectful, I think you're completely wrong. And I know you can agree. I'm sorry, man. If, if my girlfriend did that to my friend, I'm going to get at her. But you got to get at your friend because your friend ought to know what's up, man. Now, if it was just another nigga, somebody else on the street, you shouldn't even, whatever. You ought to talk to your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to have a sit down. Or whatever going to happen, but. If this supposed to be your homeboy, you know, your best friend, nah, that's a no-go. That's supposed to be off limits. Even though this is fake or uh, prank and all that, but still. But I don't agree with you. I feel like it was fine. We were just a band the moment. And one, and one word she always tries to use is insecure. She tries to say I'm insecure. Because you are. Let me interject. Okay. That is an issue that the two of you will need to discuss. I cannot lend any of my professional insight because I do not agree with interracial relations. But that's the problem. But it's not even just the relationship. It's just the fact that she's trying to fuck with other men. Like, but you can mess with other girls. And you're using the N-word. I'm, I'm not doing it. And you're using the N-word, which you should not be using at all, but you're using it in the presence of non-African people. Uh. Right, yeah, my nigga, Davis. Yeah, stop using the N word in front of my nigga, Dr. U. I mean, in front of my brother, Dr. Umar. So you wouldn't be willing to join us? Absolutely not. Oh, what? I only drink chocolate milk. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. Oh, really? <laughs> so you don't dibble and dabble in a little <laughs> cream cheese. <laughs> That's very disrespectful. And this is this this is. But this. you're just being insecure. No, this is this is where I go. Oh, this is not okay. Why am I gonna provide for you? If you why am I gonna provide for you? Because at the end of the day, it's still just me and you. <laughs> Dr. Umar said he don't want no marshmallows and hot chocolate. Okay. Um. Again, I'm gonna need y'all to table that, handle that on your own time, and we can get back to our conversation. Unless our conversation is over, because I, I don't agree with interracial relationships, so I don't even feel comfortable being a part of this three-way conversation. I don't, even like using the word, I don't even like you using the, the word three-way around her, because she always, you know. <laughs> three, oh, man, David, wow, man. This nigga is a fool, man. It was nice to meet you. Likewise. I just feel like the conversation wasn't really done. Oh, no. I'm leaving. <laughs> you better. Why do you, why do you feel like, why do you feel like it? Sorry, you got to excuse us. If you valued black women, you would keep searching until you find the one that you need. You don't value black women, you value white women. You are a bunny hopper. Oh, 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 I'm not. That's crazy to call him a bunny hopper. I feel like love is love. It don't matter the color of the person or whatever. Yeah, I strive for black excellence too. But if you fall in love with somebody else in another race, that's what it is. I don't believe an African can have a Caucasian soulmate. And it's an insult against her that you're only with her for what she can do for you as it yeah. relates to your career. I agree. You want to get off his dick? Goddamn. Get off his dick. God, leave. Why? Oh, he said, get off his dick. Hello. Huh? Why? Why what? Why should I have to? Because you want to get off his dick. Why? Why should I have to? Get off, what should you have to, to what? Get off his dick. That's, that right there is disrespectful to me. That's disrespectful to me. If he's down, I'm down. That's all I'm saying. Like, Oh, sh a white girl says she with it. Snow Bunny is with it. Like, book your first cleaning today for only nineteen dollars. I felt like I hated my apartment, but it I'm not 
not into either interracial dating or non-traditional forms of sexual intimacy. I don't believe in twosomes, threesomes. I'm not into that. And I'm not into bunny hopping, so no thank you. What if I change your mind? Yeah, listen, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to get her Uber. Please give me a second. I'm going to get her Uber. Well, Dr. Umar thinks I'm getting her an Uber to leave. I'm actually talking to her about how this is the final time she's gonna have a chance to riz this man up. I walked in first and told her to come out a few seconds afterwards so she could approach Dr. Umar. Well, Hebrew. Okay, Umar, we gonna see. Hebrew Israelite. Is, Hebrew Israelite is different. <laughs> Hebrew Israelite is different. I really feel like you would, you would like to try something new. Wait, no, I would not. Stop this. <laughs> Hebrew Israelite is different I'm not talking to you. because they are a black consciousness religious movement. You feel me? We're talking about traditional Christianity tends to be color. <laughs> Look at David's face. <laughs> blind. And in being colorblind, he was raised without any loyalty to the black oh, community. Of loyalty. She and got, that's she, what she allowed got at least 3%. She got at least 3% error. She got at least 3% error. Yes, yeah, so that's not really going against what you've been saying then. Nah, nah, nah. See, the problem here is you're trivializing a very serious problem in the black community. Tell, please tell me. Please tell me. Man, that's crazy. He said, he said, Davis ain't got no loyalty to his black people. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, no matter what he do, so all everything he ever did, so if he gave anything back to the people, anything he did, it don't mean nothing because David got a white girl. Gotcha, Dr. Umar. I think you're making mockery. <laughs> of the tragedy what in the world mockery no, of like black man. men not being loyal to black women i think you're making a mockery of it guys shut the fuck up okay. and see i wouldn't expect her to understand because it's not her responsibility to and she's talking he's talking with that you want to and you want to ask him to join us a bit yes what type of whole shit is that you're calling me a hoe yes because you're asking man that's crazy <laughs> oh shit, dr umar I guess he said he that not down for. He guess he said he sticking to his roots. He said if you were not a hundred percent African American, then you are not African American at all. <laughs> gonna sleep with one of my guests. That's, that's, that's so I already told you what my views were before we ever got together, and you agreed and you stayed. So if he's interested, I'm interested. Really not interested. Are you sure? Absolutely, Tori. Thank you. Positive? No, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You can't even look me in the eyes. I'm absolutely positively sure. I well, don't. Right, right. I feel like I feel like you're making some severe eye contact with my girl. Yeah, man. <laughs> you making eye contact with? Your girl. That's what I'm saying. Now you making some eye contact see, with my girl. I see the signs no, 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 chill, chill, chill. I see them. No, there's no signs. There's no I signs. I see the signs. I'm going with him. You're going what? No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. All jokes aside, I'm not interested in the story. But you. And he's been excommunicated too. from the black. Community. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit! Oh shit! You taking your black card, Davis? Dr. Umar took your black card. <laughs> I don't know how you could do that to him. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm in the black community still. No, you're not. Come on. You've been Stop it! Nah, it's bigger. No, 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 no. You've been Men who are not loyal to the black community, we kick them out. He can't. He won't even. He won't even. He's going to get some paperwork in the mail that what? lets him know we're snatching his melanin. Whoa! No, 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 no! I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. In all honesty. David said he black and he proud. Look at all the black he got on. He got on all black to represent. <laughs> Honesty, Miss Tory, and let you know I am absolutely not interested in being with you or any other Caucasian woman on any level. Thank you, please go. Dr. Omar, I want to thank you. Letting it be known he don't want no snow bunny. He wants nothing to do with you at all. Thank you for coming on my show. Can I still get a handshake or do you think I'm Nah, you Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm gonna pray for you. Thank you. I can't get a handshake no more? I'll give you a pound. Brother, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't give me a handshake. I can't give you a handshake. He said he's gonna take you to pound town. <laughs> Dr. Umar said he ain't gonna give you no handshake, but he'll take you to pound town. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All uh, right. You have a good day, Dr. Thank you. I appreciate you coming. Oh, man. It was great. Yeah. Thank you. So, we successfully had this woman riz up Dr. Umar. And of course, he stood on business and respectfully declined multiple times. After this was over, I wanted to comfort Dr. Umar and let him know the truth about the situation. Yeah. All about on camera. What about off camera? Do this with, with surveillance cameras around. See if he do <laughs> have the same uh -huh, reaction. Unless he stand on business. 
Hey, brother Umar, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into myself. I want to thank you once again. I do want to tell you I'm 100% joking. I did thoroughly enjoy the conversation. My only girlfriend is a black girlfriend. Of course, I'm pranking you. Hey, brother. Both of y'all look fake. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. And uh, we want to we appreciate you for not uh, taking it too serious, man, being very loud. So I appreciate it. I, 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 I'm not a, I can't even get my fist bump still. Yeah, he's still like giving the handshake. Negro, let me see. Let me see. Insane. Oh, that nigga Dr. Umar standing on business. But yeah, man, shout out to Adam Davis. Shout out to Dr. Umar and AMP, man. And I'm out.